Hello folks, I'm Ken Briotto with Embedded Computing Design and I'm very excited to be here with uh, Laurent from ISOL and uh, he works in France for ISOL Europe and uh, Samet who is with the uh, Autoware Foundation. Guys, I'm so excited to be here with you. Uh, Laurent, why don't you tell us a little bit about MCOST and what sure. you guys have been working on. Yeah, thank you again. Uh, nice to be with you today. Yeah, so let's try to make it short. So I, yeah, I work for ISOL. ISOL is a global vendor of embedded software solutions. Our main markets include automotive and industrial and to some extent also medical and consumer electronics. But yeah, the focus today is on automotive and automated industrial robotics, yeah. kind of. So yeah, so our product range includes, as I said, embedded software solutions, platforms, uh, and the, the flagship product line is called EMCOS or MCOS. MCOS POSIX is the core OS, Autos, real-time operating system. We provide also hypervisor and uh, middleware and yeah, everything you need to make uh, what we call new software defined vehicles or high-end automotive uh, robotics uh, vehicles and so on. Yeah. So that's the reason why we are here today and yeah. yeah. And I know that you've been partnered with uh, Autoware for a little while. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah. So yeah, today we are uh, introducing uh, a, a joint solution combining our MCOS product line and the Autoware Foundation uh, software stack. So, yeah, I will let Samet later on discuss about his part. Yeah. What we are showing here is a live demo, which consists in, it's in an, an integration of uh, MCOS POSIX running on a real target system, a hardware based on the a, on a, on a ARM processor, and this target is running, so MCOS, POSIX, Autos. For the software-defined vehicle, you need some software stack. And so here we are showing the Autoware Foundation stack called Autoware.universe. Autoware yeah, Autoware Universe. <laughs> and we have ported the control module from Autoware onto MCOS. So the target is to provide solutions for the safety critical automotive applications. Usually Autoware in the development phase will run on a Linux environment, yeah. but it's not safety critical enough. Uh, in our market we are looking for AZLD type of certification. Yeah. So for that you need an, an Autos with certification. So that's what ISOL provides and cost POSIX. So again, we combine the Autoware solution with a real production ready software solutions. For peak safety, peak efficiency, and peak yeah. accuracy, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. So, Samet, why don't you tell us a little bit about the, the stack from the Autoware Foundation? Yeah, sure. Uh, Autoware is the world's leading uh, open source project for autonomous driving with Apache 2.0 permissive open source license, and everything, our source code is basically readily available on our GitHub repo. And Autoware is a full-stack autonomous driving solution it includes sensing, perception, localization, planning and control. And uh, ESOL is uh, one of the founding and uh, long-standing partners to the Autoware Foundation and to the Autoware ecosystem. And what we are seeing today actually is a reoccurring theme at the embedded world. They, they took the control module out of Autoware's entire code base and ported that on the MCOS Artos which is achieving mixed criticality and paving the way for the certifiability, which is a prerequisite for production-ready autonomous driving solutions. Amazing. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking time to chat with me today. This thank has been can. great. Folks, I've been Ken Briotta with Embedded Computing Design. Thank you for joining us.